Hi, so today I'm going to talk about hysterectomy. So what is it a hysterectomy? What types of hysterectomy there are? There are essentially three different types of hysterectomy. In a hysterectomy, really what it means is removal of the uterus, not removal of the ovaries. The first type of hysterectomy is where it's called a total hysterectomy, where the uterus and the cervix gets removed. Only this portion gets removed. The ovaries are separate from that. Another type of hysterectomy is what we call a supracervical hysterectomy or a partial hysterectomy. And that is when you leave the cervix behind right here. So the uterus gets removed, the portion that bleeds when you have a period gets removed. But again, the ovaries stay in place, the fallopian tubes stay in place, and the cervix also stay in place. The next type of hysterectomy is a radical hysterectomy. And a radical hysterectomy is for people who have cancer, whether it is uterine cancer or cervical cancer. And that's when you remove actually the upper portion of the vagina. You also have to remove the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, and all of the tissue that's around it on here on this side to remove cancer. When we're talking about hysterectomies, we're talking about, like I said, just the uterus itself. To remove the ovaries, that's a different procedure, which it's called an oophorectomy. It's a long name, but it's just removal of the ovary. When women are advised to do a hysterectomy, oftentimes they think that they're gonna have issues with hormones and they are very hesitant to remove the, the uterus because they believe that they're gonna need a hormone replacement therapy. And that is really only the case when the ovaries get removed, not when the uterus gets removed. Why would women require hysterectomy? Uh, sometimes women have significant amount of bleeding, whether it is heavy periods, long periods, or having two to three periods a month. Some women have to wear it tons of pads, tampons, just so that it doesn't go through their pants. Uh, many times it's due to fibroids, sometimes due to polyps, sometimes due to endometriosis. So many women can um, require hysterectomies because of bleeding, because of pain. And I, what I want you to know is that a hysterectomy does not necessarily mean that your ovaries get removed. The good thing about a hysterectomy is that you don't ever have to bleed again, you don't ever have to use pads again, and you can wear wipes. If for those women that um, require hysterectomy, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> you can pause. Yeah. All right, you don't have to no. pause. It's okay. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> and it